With Roof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog. It's the beginning of the season, so you know that that can now only mean one thing. Yes, it is time for your Autumn 2022 edition of... Whale Watch! Whale Watch! This is a series that I used to do once a month where we take a recording and we screen and we just go through some of the books that maybe are going out of print. Maybe they've already gone out of print and you've got a last minute chance to find them. Or maybe I can just hopefully find you a good deal along the way. But it's been quite a while so let's not waste any more time. Jumping straight into it, the first book that I wanted to talk about that I noticed a few months ago is the Low Deluxe Editions by Rick Remender. Now Rick Remender is absolutely no stranger to Whale Watch. I mention him on quite a few occasions because of the fact that he doesn't like to do massive print runs of his books. Now at the minute on Amazon UK it does look like they're both under limited time deals although there isn't that much of a massive saving off them but this series is now complete so I think this is going to go in a similar way of something like Black Science and from what I've seen of the community Black Science is a much more popular title so if that can go out of print and doesn't seem like it's going to get a reprint soon why won't this one and I think it was about 18 or so months ago but low book one was going for over 100 pounds so I do definitely think that this is one that you do need to have on your radar if it is that you wanted to pick these up or maybe there's some gaps in your Rick Remender collection speaking of which another one that I noticed from him is Death or Glory Deluxe Edition. Now there is still quite a number of people that are selling this but it has also been in print for quite a bit of time. So it has been in print for over a year now, it's got 45% off over here on Amazon UK and who knows maybe Rick Remender has now learned his lesson and he prints way more than he thought he ever needed to but still that just gives me the belief that when these do eventually go out of print they really aren't going to come back. You can also get it from Read Comics and they've got the DM variant and it is still available over at Organic Price Books. So you can still get your hands on this in the meantime but I thought I'd start Whale Watch by being a bit preemptive. Speaking of which getting really preemptive is the upcoming 7 to Eternity Deluxe Edition. Now it's been confirmed that it's limited to 8,000 copies which doesn't actually sound like that much because I know that in our community a lot of us love the Deluxe Editions but the wider comic collectors probably don't get that many. So I don't know how far 8,000 copies of a Rick Remender Deluxe Edition are really going to stretch but at the same time it says that they cost a ton to make and when they are gone they are likely gone for good. And tweaks like this really don't help and I believe that Death or Glory actually had a shorter print run. So if that's still available I don't think this is something that you need to pre-order or else you're going to completely miss out on it but the fact that we've got that insight that we've got that number and that they've said that they aren't going to make this again gives me the indication that you shouldn't really be sleeping around on it. Another image book that I recently reviewed and not that many people watched but I'm not going to act too bitter about it is the Skyward Deluxe Edition. It's been in print since March of last year so that's over 18 months and with it not having that much buzz now that it has finished it gives me the feeling that when this goes out of print it's not really going to come back. With image creators and they saying that they are the ones that have to put stuff back in print you would be looking at the sales and seeing how long it stayed on the shelves and sort of what the buzz is about it at the time to determine if you're going to keep this in print and yeah it does say that the seven places that have got it amazon is one of them and you have got your book depository but then after that you don't have your speedy hen or your books etc or anything like that it's all mostly smaller third party sellers which gives me the feeling that maybe this is on its way out it's a decent enough book it's a quick enough read so i would recommend it you can still get it from organic price books i'm not seeing it over here on forbidden planet it's out of stock on Read Comics which is normally a sign that it's not going to be around much longer and these are a company based in the Netherlands I believe and they pretty much say that everything's out of print. I can't even see that they've got the deluxe edition so for me I do think this is one that if it was on your radar and maybe it fell off a bit then maybe jump on it as quick as you can because as we know from looking at books like Luther Strode and I'm sure there's a handful of others that I've just completely forgotten an image deluxe edition that goes out of print will go for massive amounts of money if you don't pick it up now. I forgot to say this as well because it's been that long but I don't have any kind of insider information I'm just one fan of this hobby that's trying to help out the others and I don't intend for this information to be used for scalping because honestly what's the point? What if this book doesn't go out of print and you buy a stupid amount of them and then you're just stuck with them? So only get the books if you really want them and you would be disappointed if you missed out on them. But if Whale Watch is going to move to this seasonal pattern I am going to try and be a bit more predictive with what I think might go out of print. So one that I know there's been a lot of buzz about and I genuinely feel might go the same way as something like Luther Strode is the Murder Falcon Deluxe Edition. You can save one whole pack if you buy it off Amazon right now and it's also only about four quid more than the trade paperback. I was fortunate enough to have this book gifted to me and I loved it that much that it upgraded to the deluxe edition but honestly I get the feeling that this is going to be one of those that eventually will disappear and everybody would have wished that they bought. In the minute this is still available on Amazon it does look like there's a couple of other places that are selling it you've got your books etc I'm not really seeing a lot of other places if I'm being honest. Sure I know that times are getting a little bit difficult for everybody so you might not have the finances for it at the minute but with it being so cheap in price 
I do think it might be worth just biting the bullet because this could end up going for a bit more if you wait around. And I don't know if they've got the intention of keeping this in print. You can also get a signed edition from Forbidden Planet, so there's quite a number of places that are stocking this at the moment. And I do get the feeling they will still be available in a couple of months, but then I don't really know how much longer than that. So I thought I'd put it in now because I'm probably not going to do a whale watch until December, and I don't want you guys to miss out in case the extreme thing happens. Another one that I'm going to put in a similar bracket to this is the Curse Words Omnibus. Now this isn't a deluxe edition even though I thought it was going to be, but at the same time because of the fact that they did have to start it with a Kickstarter project, it gives me the belief that they weren't too confident that this might have sold in the first place. So it has fortunately come to the direct market, it is available to buy from other places like Amazon and some comic shops, so I wouldn't really be waiting around and sleeping on this. In all honesty I think this might go out of print before Murder Falcon, so this would probably be top of that list over the book we just talked about. I believe I got this from Speedy Hen and they have still got it in stock but I miss their old discount codes they should really start bringing them back. You've got your books etc, I think I saw book depository earlier. So yeah, organic price books has it. It's available at Forbidden Planet which probably gives me the assumption that it is also available at Read Comics. But still, I just don't really think it's one of those that's going to be around for years and years so I'd just jump on it. If, obviously, you've got the money. Don't go into debt for this hobby, it's really not worth it. One that I'd recommended from Instagram which I recommend following me on there because I'm going to try and make Whale Watch more of a community driven thing. I want you guys to put your suggestions down so that we can save people more money. And if you've got something that you think might become a whale, why not put it in the comment section below and we can just discuss it down there? Because that was always my intention with this series, I just wanted to make sure that people had an opportunity to buy books for a cover price or under before they went out of print. Yeah, so it was the Usagi Ujimbo Special Edition, which I know I mentioned when I was doing it in the live stream format, and a lot of people said that they printed so many of this that they don't think it's going to go out of print. But this has gone out of print before. I know, yes, it was the one with the blue spines and also we had that paperback edition, but look, it's only 14% off at Amazon and this is a tracker that I use called Keeper and it did go out of stock for quite a while. There were some places that were selling it used for over 150 quid which I just don't understand but there was always consistently other places that were selling it besides Amazon for new. That isn't the case at the minute, the only place is Amazon itself. And I know Organic Price Book got an absolute ton of this so they should still, yep, so they've still got some in stock at the minute and I'd recommend picking it up from there. And if you use code woof woof you'll get two dollars off your order and you can use that code as many times as you like and if you're ordering three or more books and you don't mind them being packaged together make sure you use code woof woof ship it together for five percent off the entire order. I'll put it in a comment down below so that you can copy and paste it, but that does really help the channel. It's been a difficult couple of months, and if it wasn't for organic price books, I'd probably be a lot worse off right now. I'm still not doing that well though, so please please keep using that code. And as well, I remember the aftermarket prices that this was going for when it did go out of print. They have currently got it and they've got it at a sale price, which to me says that they're trying to move this stock and it's not available here at Cheap Comics, unfortunately. Now, one book that I've been asked about is the Descended Deluxe Edition Volume 1 reprint. Because it was due to come out on August 17th, but it doesn't look like anybody's got their hands on it just yet. I do not have a clue what's happening with that, but the fact that it's still available for pre-order over on Organic Price Books proves to me that it hasn't been cancelled yet. But the one you do need to worry about is the volume 2 which I remember saying for months and months when we were doing this on a monthly format. That is now out of print and hopefully we'll get a reprint if volume 1 did. Especially with the upcoming Ascender Deluxe Edition, it does seem like they want everybody to get the full series. And if I was to guess, I think volume 1 might come into print again around October because that would be about a month before Ascender. That's my guess but again, I'm a bit of a dumb guy so I wouldn't really take my opinion on that. Now I'm not sure how wide the news went because it's a Netflix series so nobody really tends to care after the first season but the Umbrella Academy does appear to be ending with season 4. To me that makes me think that maybe some of these deluxe editions are going to start drying up. Amazon says it only has one left in stock, it doesn't say that they're going to be getting more in. There's still a good handful of other places that are selling it, Books etc is going which I think is where I got my copies from, but the popularity of this series has unfortunately dried out quite a bit. I would know because I put a review out and it was one of the worst ranked videos that I've ever done. But all of them look like they're short on stock but it doesn't say that there's more coming in even though there are third parties that are selling it. But the thing is you can get just the hardcover on its own with a bit of a different cover for near enough half the price. All you're paying for here is a slipcase in the art print. So I do get the feeling that they're not going to be that attentive to keep these in print once the series has ended. And because they're a bit pricey, I know it might not be convenient to get all of them at once. So I would just have them on your radar. If you're missing one or two, maybe get a bit of a move on. Similarly, one that I wanted to talk about that I wish they would have just done the hardcover editions of is these Sin City Deluxe editions. If they would have done just the hardcover, I would have bought that 
that, but I really can't afford seven volumes at 60 quid each, especially when they're so thin. Now, at the moment, it does look like these are all readily available. You've got the seventh and final volume being released in November. So in next season's Whale Watch, I might trial out some kind of Sin City check to see how readily available these still will be. Now, a massive release that I know a lot of people have already got in the collection is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. I've got this at the moment as well. I'm going to read it. So there's going to be a review this month. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Now, yeah, it does look like Amazon's selling it, but they're actually doing it on behalf of Speedy Hen. I know they had some difficulties getting this in as well because I had it pre-ordered with them and it just took ages to get delivered. The only other places that you've got are third party sellers, so there isn't really anybody that's got this. It's been out for about two months. I also don't know if they're going to include this in some kind of future IDW collection. I really hope they don't. I really wanted them to do some kind of absolute edition with this mini series. But yeah, it's been about a week or so since Amazon's actually had this in stock. It's sold out over at organic price books. I will get in touch with JP to see if they are doing a second printing of that. Because IDW are dead weird. There's no real rhyme or reason to the printing schedules. Forbidden Planet somehow has it in stock, so that's a good place to get it from. But it's not available over at Read Comics. And it's not available over at Cheap Comics as well. Now I haven't checked absolutely every website like Cheap Graphic Novels or In Stock Trades. Else this show would take about three days to film. But it's weird because this series had so much hype behind it, and this deluxe edition also added a lot of hype behind it. I know that they're doing some kind of spin-off series, so I do think they would bring this back in some other kind of way. And they have done a decent enough job of keeping the IDW collection in print and sort of evergreen. So I do get the feeling this would be the same. I also know that they're quite good at doing later printings. When it comes to the single issues, I believe issue one of The Last Ronin had about five printings in the end. Don't quote me on that because I'm normally wrong. So yeah, I don't think this is the only time we're ever going to see it in print, but at the same time, it doesn't look like it's available in a lot of places. But for how much I enjoyed this title, I would make sure that I was jumping on it as soon as possible, just on the off chance that this is some kind of weird one-off deluxe edition printing. Speaking of IDW, another series that I wanted to talk about was mostly the phase one of the IDW collection of Transformers. Now look, volume one has gone out of print again. I've also heard, but I haven't got all the information, so again, don't quote me on this, that there's some kind of licensing thing that's happening with this series. I don't know if they're renewing it. I don't know if a different company's picked it up. I don't know if this is very much going to be like the Conan the Barbarian situation. But either way, as you can see, Amazon had it in stock just at the end of August, and then all of a sudden, it jumped up to over double cover price. I remember years and years ago, though, that this did go out of print, and then they brought back the entire series. But if you have a look here, there's some other volumes that have just shot up in price as well. That's actually a really good price for Phase 3 Volume 1. A Tabasco, but Volume 3 looks like it's not that well available. It's going to be a third party because they're charging nearly 20 quid in delivery. Only one left in stock for Volume 8. Volume 2 looks like it's not that readily available as well. I really hate how Amazon puts the Kindle price first. I thought that this deluxe edition was going to be 16 quid then. Would have been really nice. Volume 12, the last one that I need for Phase 2, looks like it's going out of print, which is just me lock. And it also looks like some of the Phase 2 volumes are drying up as well. I don't know if this is just due to the paper shortage, or maybe they've got a plan to just bring them all back at a certain time. But it does look like they're drying up, and trust me, with a series this long, the last thing that you want is just to be one volume missing. You don't want to miss out if you have started this series. I know I haven't checked any other website than Amazon, but at the same time, it looks like there's a lot that are missing. So you might be able to find it from other places, and I'd just recommend checking that out. Now, do you remember a few months ago when the biggest book that anybody wanted was Something Was Killing the Children, Deluxe Edition with a Slipcase? There is going to be a second printing of this, which again is nearly double the price of what the just non-slipcase version is. And I do believe it's got a different colour to the foil. I think it's blue. So it's in red, but you can still pre-order that if it was that you really wanted this slipcase version. If you were to ask my advice, even though I did like the slipcase version of this, because there's going to be later volumes, are you then going to have to get a slipcase version for all of those? It might just be cheaper in the long run to get the non-slipcase edition. There's no difference to the content. But considering how desperate people were for the original printing of this, if you did just want that slipcase, you can already pre-order it, so you might as well do that. The last independent book that we're going to talk about is the boys omnibuses. I did a video that was how to collect the boys so I would recommend checking that out but volume 2 is already on back order and if I'm remembering right volume 2 was the one that had difficulties getting printed. Not in terms of legality but volumes 1 and 3 seem to get delivered to people before volume 2. I am disappointed that Dear Becky isn't going to be a deluxe edition. Don't know what the fuck they were thinking about that. Maybe if the boys series continues they're going to do some kind of like companion omnibus with all the other mini series but when I was looking on Amazon I don't believe 
believe that they had all of these and I think it was volume no it couldn't be volume 2 okay so you can get volume 2 in the UK so maybe that's an option but volume 1 is pretty much already at cover price there's no one else that's selling it and again this had a Kickstarter a very successful Kickstarter which was the reason that they got printed but that also gives me the belief that maybe these aren't going to be around forever who knows when season 4 comes out they might do a later printing especially with the success of these but at the moment it does look like they're drying out and I did get in touch with somebody over at Dynamite I'm just waiting for a response but that might be something that gets an update in the winter edition of Whale Watch. By the way, if you were desperate for these, I would jump on them sooner rather than later. So we're going to jump into the DC books, and the first thing that we're going to do is our final order cutoff check, which we can do thanks to Organic Price Books. Again, they are the sponsor of this channel. They've always helped me out, so I do want to give them a massive shout out and a massive thank you. So this is what we've got currently for the final order cutoff check. I know Marvel's just gone completely weird, and they went from publishing every single book in the same week to seemingly publishing nothing for months. I know that this, the Rocketeer, the Complete Adventures Deluxe Edition, is one that a lot of people had their eye on. You've got a few epic collections, a few complete collections, an art of book, which I really want the Batman art of book, so I'm currently accepting donations for that, please. You've got a few deluxe editions like Wolverine Volume 2 and some masterworks. This is going to be a big one, the new X-Men reprint, along with the Adam Warlock omnibus and Planet of the Apes. Oh, I thought that was another super fancy edition like the one that we got last year. You've got some humanoids books that are getting fancy slipcase editions of, which, yep, is quite tempting. And this is one that I know a lot of people are going to want, the Batman and Robin by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleeson an omnibus. That was going for stupid prices for quite a while. Oh nice, they're finally doing the Savage Dragon Ultimate Collection, that's one I'm probably going to pick up. Along with the Dark Knight's Metal Omnibus, which I'm probably going to get over the Absolute Edition, and then I'll probably read it and skip the majority of the tie-ins. You've also got the Monstrous Deluxe Edition Volume 2, I know this is a series that Shadowcat really likes, and the Bitter Root Omnibus, which I've heard a lot of people talking about. So there is still some great books that are worth getting your orders in before the final order cut off. What this basically means is that if you put your orders in before this date, you're pretty much guaranteed a copy. Unless of course it's something limited edition or they just get short stock of it or worst case scenario get cancelled for once i'm not looking at you dc you've gotten a lot better with that you probably still will be able to get the majority of these books when they do come out but it's always better safe than sorry but the first dc book that we're going to look at is one that i reviewed a couple of months ago and that is the green arrow by jeff lemire deluxe edition i think i've mentioned this before so i have been wrong about it in the past but there's still not been a restock but it just hasn't gone out of print either it's still being sold direct from amazon but they are the only place that's selling it new this has been out for a number of years now since 2016 and the hype has died out quite a bit for it. It's on back order from Organic Price Books and it is still in stock over at Reed Comics. I don't know if there's going to be a reprint of this because it doesn't look like they've restocked it since I last mentioned it. And you never know, DC might do a DC and print some kind of Green Arrow New 52 omnibus which I'd probably pick up because the New 52 is my jam but if you want this specific part of this run if you like this deluxe edition it does still look like it's on its way out to me another one that i know people were very excited to get a reprint and i remember how out of print it went you know, in such a short space of time, we see Gotham Central Omnibus. Wow, you can save a whole £4 with this voucher on Amazon, which would make it £4 under cover price. They are the only place that's got this at the mini. It's been in print for nearly six months now. Gotham Central is a fantastic book. I'd put it in my top five best DC books of all time. It's been full price for a while now, since about July, and it seems like Amazon's also been the only place that's selling it. But we might actually have some good news because Organic Price Books are saying that it's going to get restocked on the 20th of December. That's great. I'm actually glad to be proven wrong with that. So in the meantime, I guess my message would be, don't get scalped on it. One deluxe edition that I was tempted to pick up myself is the Flash Green Lantern. Now, as you can see, it's full price over here on Amazon, and there's only a couple places that are selling it. But this was a mini series that was written by the man himself, Mark fucking Wade. And I think that this might go in a similar vein to other deluxe editions of mini series, Stuff like Superman Red Son and JLA The Nail. And it might just disappear and then you won't be able to get it again, and it's very unlikely that they're going to do a reprint. One thing that I do want to mention, because I saw it over on the Reddit page that's UK graphic novel deals is the Multiversity Deluxe Edition. Now apparently this came out in the year 1704. Don't know what Grant Morrison was doing back then, but at least they were already hard at work. I don't know why this isn't actually showing me the hardcover that I click on, but say that you go to the 10 used editions. So the cheapest is at cover price, and it's not even Amazon that's selling it directly. Admittedly, I do know the reason why this is probably going out of print, and it's because there is going to be that Absolute Edition. Unless I dreamt this. No, so it is game released, and it's game released in October, so the timing does really make sense there. If you don't like Absolute Editions or you don't think this warrants one, even though I do think that the art's 
fucking phenomenal in this, then the deluxe edition looks like it's on its way out and you might even have to pay cover price for it. But let's be honest, most of us are just waiting for this absolute edition. Speaking of absolute edition, one that I know a lot of people have probably paid over cover price for is some of these Swamp Thing volumes. These have been getting restocked intermittently, especially with this volume 3 that came out in March, but I don't know how many more there's going to be. I remember that volume 2 was going for ridiculous prices, I think at one point I even saw one on eBay for 200 quid. I was trying to get one for Comic Bound to surprise him, but I just couldn't justify paying 200 quid for it. Volume 1's not currently in stock with Amazon, but it does still seem like there's somebody that's selling it. You can get it imported from Amazon US, that might be an option, but I swear I saw organic price books mentioning these. Okay, so that's decent. They've currently got all three volumes in stock for undercover price. Volume 1, which we just saw is out of stock over in the UK, is there for 35% off. And like I said, considering that I saw how much these were going for, it's not worth waiting around for it. What if they go out of print again next week and then you're going to have to pay 200 quid for it? If you've got the money now and you can afford it and you want it, why not just jump onto it? You can also get all three volumes at Forbidden Planet, so do not pay that stupid price at Amazon. Sorry, I didn't mean to tell you off, but I just don't want people wasting the money. And all three volumes are also available at Read Comics. So I'm not sure if it's something that the wider market just can't get their hands on these, or maybe there's been a restock that came into comic shops first. But either way, I did want to point out that they are coming back in stock, don't pay over cover price, and don't sleep around on these again. Who knows if they're going to be evergreen? I don't. If I did, that would make this section of the show a lot easier. But I'm really excited to read this series next month, so hopefully you guys can pick it up and read it alongside with me. Even though I do think they're probably going to do an omnibus for it at some point. It's Alan Moore. The dude sells books. Another one that I wanted to talk about because of the fact that the show didn't do that well is the absolute editions of Why the Last Man. If anybody had watched that show, if it had any kind of acclaim or any kind of hype or buzz, then I wouldn't be worried about these. But even though this is always going to be one of the greatest comics of all time in my opinion, and it's something that should always be available, I don't know if DC is going to keep these in print when there isn't that much wider buzz about them. Volume 2 shot up in price, I'm not even sure if it's, no it's not even Amazon that's selling it, and the only other place is selling it for way over cover price. Volume 3 is out of stock, and people are selling it for nearly 400 odd quid new. And Volume 1 looks like it is still available, but in all honesty you're going to want just a Volume 1 of a series. Yeah, so it's only got 15% off at the mini. Amazon is selling it directly but there's only four left. The Omnibus is still in print, it looks like the Compendium and some of the trade paperbacks are in print as well, so it looks like there is going to be that way of collecting them, but the Absolutes in particular, it looks like they are on the way out. And I can imagine Absolute Editions are not cheap to print. Yeah, all three of the volumes are sold out over at Organic Price Books, Purple Button of Doom over at Read Comics for Volume 2, and they aren't even showing Volume 3. So it is a shame, I'm glad that I've got these in the Absolute format, it's such a great series, I think everybody should read this. But admittedly, from an art standpoint of alone, I don't know if you need the Absolute Editions. For me, it's just because I want this story in the best format possible, and hopefully in the way that's going to stand the test of time. So who knows, these were getting released in the days when Absolute Editions were being picked up by comic shops, so maybe you might drop in on one of them. But other than that, I don't see that these are going to be around much longer, mostly because of the fact that I'm struggling to find them at the minute. Now a few months ago the Infinite Crisis Omnibus had a restock, but already it looks like in the UK they're struggling to keep a hold of it. So Amazon is going for only 15% off, similar to that absolute edition of Why the Last Man. You've got Book Depository, but that's the only other third party that I really know. I know that Organic Price Books were quite good at communicating what was happening with this, and it's not saying it's on back order, so I do believe they've got this in stock at the moment. But this went stupid out of print for a little bit of time, but the restock was really quiet, but it is out of stock over here at Reed Comics, and you can't get it at Forbidden Planet either. So I don't know if they're going to bring this back in stock again, and it does kind of contradict the point that I just made about these reprints seeming that they won't stick around for long. It might just depend on the title, but Infinite Crisis, the reprint came out in 2020, which was over two years ago, and that feels weird to say because that's when I started doing this series. But I just don't really know what's happening with this. If you did want it, and maybe you didn't realise that there was a short restock, then jump on it. Especially if you can get it from Organic price books, I definitely think that's the way to go. But in a similar breath, another omnibus that I noticed drying up in a few places was the highly anticipated Death of Superman. Came out in May this year, and Amazon is already the only place that's selling it. And it looks like that's been the way since the beginning of August. I feel like I'm getting into a bit of a pattern here, but it says that it's going to be back in stock on the 15th of November. I still kind of struggle with reading American dates. So hopefully you will be able to pick it back up then, so maybe don't pay a scalper price, if especially you're in the UK and it seems like the only place is going be Amazon. That's actually a really good percentage off if you wanted it. There's a bit of a damaged version in stock over at Read Comics, and it is available at the moment from Forbidden Planet. So 
do not pay over cover price for this book. If you're in America, it's going to get a restock in a few months. And if you're in the UK, you can get it from a few comic shops. And we also might get some of that restock as well. So I'd just wait around a bit. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a how to collect on Sandman, which I just tried to give you an overview of all the different formats and what you'd need to get the full series. And I did mention the omnibus is in it. So I think I should mention them here. Now, just looking at this, it does look like they're not very readily available. Volume 3 is being imported from America and they're the only place it's really selling it. Volume 2 is just not available for sale from them and going for over cover price, not worthy. And the Omnibus is very close to cover price and again Amazon's the only place it's selling it. However, I do believe I remember reading that this is going to get a restock as well. Yeah, so it should be later this month that it's going to be back in stock. And I've said this about the deluxe editions and I also agree with it with the absolutes, but Sandman is pretty much always guaranteed to be available. It was one of the most popular comic series of all time before the Netflix show. And now that the Netflix show is popular and hopefully they're going to announce that there's going to be a season two soon, all eyes are going to be on this series and DC is going to make sure that there's as many different ways that you can pick it up as possible. So there is absolutely zero reason to ever pay over cover price for Sandman unless it's that super limited silver edition of the omnibuses. I can't lie, it's a beautiful collection. It looks like all of the deluxe editions are currently in stock over organic price books. It also looks like we've got a date of the 25th of October but it doesn't say back order so maybe it came in stock a bit earlier. You can get volume 5 from Amazon, volume 1 looks like it's gone full cover price, volume 3 looks like it might be a bit difficult to get along with Overture, and volume 2, but I honestly would not spend over cover price for these. The absolute editions all look quite steep in price and volume 4 and volume 5 look like they're not available at the moment, but it doesn't look like there's any announcement of a date on when these are going to come back in stock. But the absolutes have been in print since 2011, so again, I'm really not worried about those. Now, one that I'm a bit sad to see that it looks like it's drying up in stock is the Batman by Scott Snyder omnibuses. It's not even showing me volume 1. But volume 2, it's already at full cover price, says it's usually dispatched within 5 days and they're the only place that's selling this. I do believe that this should get some kind of restock at some point just because of how prolific this title is. It's pretty much the only title out of the new 52 that everybody agrees on. It looks like you can get volume 1 from organic price books, even though it just decided to not show me on Amazon. That's not to say they don't have it, it's just that they didn't show me. Ah, okay, here's some good news. It does look like there might be a restock stock on the 25th of October, which is two days after my birthday. If you want to give me any gifts, I'm open, please. Not available at Forbidden Planet. And Read Comics has got a pre-order date of the 4th of November and they've currently got volume one in stock. Now, I don't know if DC is going to plan to up the stock of this for in time with that Dark Knight's Metal Omnibus. That would make sense because it's Snyder on another title that's featuring Batman, but I just thought it was a bit weird. So I wanted to keep my eye on it. I'll have a look what's happening with it before next season's Whale Watch. But in the meantime, if you haven't got volume two, don't pay stupid prices for it because it looks like it's coming back and volume one looks like it might be in other places and you might get lucky with Amazon and they might actually show it you. But all the Amazon bashing aside, there is one good deal that I wanted to show you. The reprint of the first volume of the George Perez Omnibus has been 54% off for quite a number of weeks now. It's been pretty much since June. It's even gone cheaper than its first drop. I don't know how much longer that's going to last and Amazon are normally quite good at honoring price glitches as long as they get enough stock of it because everybody remembers the Swamp Thing volume two debacle, but still that's a great price. So if you are in the UK, why not pre-order that? I have also got an Amazon affiliate link because like I said, my bills are getting really high, so I'm trying to do as much as I can. So if you do order anything off Amazon, even if it's embarrassing stuff, please use that link because it really helps the channel. Another omnibus that I wanted to talk about is the Flash by Jeff Johns Volume 1. Now, all three volumes have been released and we don't know if this is going to be a similar thing like other three volume series like the Harley Quinn run, Nightfall and like I said, the Wonder Woman by George Perez series. That Now that they're all printed, they will start drying up and it might be a bit difficult to get some of these. So I just wanted to put it on your radar. Been in print for nearly three years now. It is also a reprint of a reprinted omnibus series because that first three volume series was massively incomplete. But yeah, the only other place that's selling it besides Amazon is Swest Books and I've never used them before. Just on an off note as well, I am so hyped for this Mark Wade omnibus. Yeah, it is available over here at Organic Price Books. Forbidden Planet has a sale on volume three at the minute where it's half price, which is pretty decent. But I can't say that they've got volume one or volume two here. Purple Button of Doom over at Read Comics, so that's not really a great sign. So yeah, now that this series is done and out and it doesn't look like they're going to re-release it again with extra content, I wouldn't really wait around on this because even though it is a fantastic run, it just doesn't seem like it has a lot of buzz about it. So it's just not really worth waiting around if you have started this but you haven't yet finished it or you did want to start it and it looks like everything's drying up. Another more recent omnibus that I'm surprised to see looks like it's already going out of stock in a couple of places is the Catwoman of East End. Beautiful book. I've got it right here. This is going to be a spoiler if you watch me next haul but I love this series. It's also going to feature in an upcoming video that I've got about Darwin Cook so make sure you're looking
looking forward to that one. And I do not think this is an omnibus that you should miss out on. But yeah, so it came out in June. There's only one other place besides Amazon and it's a place in space. But I genuinely feel like this hasn't been out that long and it should get some kind of restock. Yay! So it is getting one on the 11th of November. So do not pay scalper prices for this. Even get your pre-orders in for it if you want because 35% off is better than paying over cover price. Fortunately, it's available over at Forbidden Planet for a much cheaper price than Amazon. And they've also got a date that kind of lines up with what Organic Price Books is saying. Because even the UK does feel like we get everything two weeks after. Let's keep it in the family and let's have a look at the Batgirl Omnibus. And yes, I'm talking about the one by Gail Simone. From the new 52, yep, my jam. Only 16% off at Amazon and it's been imported from America. It's been in print for nearly 18 months now. You have got your book depository, your Blackwells, but not a lot of other places that are selling this. Let's have a see if it's getting a cheeky restock. No news of a restock, but it is available at Organic Price Books. Not available at Forbidden Planet, but it is in stock over at Read Comics. Again though, I don't know how popular this series is or how many units he managed to sell. I know with the Batwoman on the bus, they cancelled it and resolicited it quite a number of times, so maybe they don't have a lot of confidence outside of the Bat family unless it's Batman. Makes me wonder if we're ever going to get me Nightwing by Chuck Dixon Omnibus. But that is one that I do think will just fall under the radar, will go out of print one day and a lot of people will realise that they wanted it. It's a great run as well so I think people should give it a chance if they haven't done so already. Now the eternal saga of the Batman No Man's Land collection is just one that's been a bit of a roller coaster. Speedy Hen finally managed to ship out the pre-order that I had when it was at a ridiculously cheap price because that restock finally came in in time for this volume too. But because of how much of an upheaval it's been with these volumes, now that the final volume's coming out, unless you're going to do some kind of like aftermath volume, I don't really know what that'd contain. I would not wait around if you wanted any of these. Already, it doesn't look like they're showing me the Road to No Man's Land omnibus, although it's just saying currently unavailable, which is kind of intimidating. Although it does say that there's going to be a restocking of it on the 13th of December, but still, there's just something about this series that I can see going the exact same way as Batman Nightfall. Just look at how out of print volume 3 is at the minute. Hopefully DC gets their act together and reprints it so that people stop paying nearly quadruple cover price. But I honestly think this is very much in the same league. That it's a Batman event that had 3 volumes. It was quite difficult getting them out in the first place. But in all honesty, No Man's Land is the far superior event. So if you can get your hands on them, I definitely recommend doing that. I definitely wouldn't pay over cover price for Road to No Man's Land. Wait it out till December and hopefully this restock will come. It's just saying out of stock over at Read Comics. Volume 1 is ready to ship at the moment and Volume 2 is still available for pre-order. I'm hoping that comes out across here soon. I really want that. But another omnibus that I'm surprised is on my radar this early but at the same time I can see the logic behind it. We see Superman by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason omnibus. There is no one selling it new over here at Amazon UK. I'm reading this at the mini. Fantastic book. Really can't wait to get my review out. But it was printed over a year ago Ago. and in all honesty I feel like if DC is doing an official reprint of the Batman and Robin omnibus why not do one of the Superman titles so hopefully there's going to be a restocking of it and it does look like it's going to be Yep, sometime in November, which also seems to be a month or two before the Batman and Robin reprint, but I'm surprised at how quickly this dried up. There is no one selling it new on Amazon. I kind of need this Superman Batman Omnibus Volume 2, I might add that to my basket. But yep, the Tomasi book isn't available at Forbidden Planet. Purple Button of Doom, so hopefully that restock does come across to us over here in the UK, but when I see that there's nobody selling it new over on Amazon, I immediately think that there's going to be people that are scalping it. Do not do that. Yes, this is a great book, but it's not worth paying over cover price for. The Super Sons Omnibus also went out print. I'm not sure if this is the expanded edition or not, but I can't find either one. But it seems like they're also doing more series for this, so I don't know if there's going to be a re-edition of the expanded edition, which is just irritating. Now, some smaller sized hardcovers that I want to talk about is the Superman Man of Steel volumes. All four of these have now been printed, and this was originally downgraded from being an omnibus to begin with, which makes me think that DC didn't know if they wanted to print this in the first place. So now that they're all out, I wouldn't really sleep around on any of these volumes. They are currently all in stock, but I get the feeling that some of them might start drying up. So keep an eye out for them, especially if you're missing a volume like I am. One book that I saw a lot of rumblings on was the Justice League Dark Omnibus, and looking out on the surface, yeah, it does look like like this is going out of print. As well, when this first came out, I knew this was one that I needed to pick up quickly with it being a bit of more of an obscure title. There's been rumblings that there's going to be a movie, but there's been rumblings that pretty much everything that DC's ever printed is going to be a movie at this point. And in all honesty, I don't even think it's worth paying full cover price for because I know that Organic Price Books said that this is going to get a restock in December. This is a fantastic yet whammy book. But if it is getting that restock later on in the year, I would just recommend waiting, especially because it has got quite a good discounted price on here, so I'd just pre-order. There's going to be 
be other books that are coming out before then that will help you to pass the time and by the time that this gets printed it'll be like oh great I didn't spend over cover price. If you're wondering why I'm talking even quicker than normal it's because my camera is flashing red which means that I don't have long left on the battery. So I'm just going to wrap this up with the last DC book that I wanted to talk about but yeah I can't see volume 1 of the new 52 Justice League run anywhere and volume 2 has only just come out and it doesn't look like a lot of them came across here to the UK. I heard people saying that it wasn't available in stock trades and I can't find it at the minute. It's saying sold out over at Organic Price Books but it does look like there's a back order date for volume 1 of the 27th of December. To me if they're reprinting volume 1 that late they're going to bring back the volume that sold out pretty much immediately. This isn't going to be like the Wonder Woman by Gail Simone on the bus and we're just never going to see it again. I do get the feeling that more of these are going to come out and it's going to be similar to what it's like with Batman No Man's Land. In the UK we got none of them for ages but then when the restocks happened that's when we started getting them across here. So I wouldn't panic it's only been out a month and it's a massive name, a massive series, two massive creators that were working on it. So I don't think that this is going to be the last time that you're ever going to see the Justice League New 52 Omnibus Volume 2. Just wait it out, please don't pay over cover price, it's such a recent big name that I just think that there's going to be more that we'll see. Okay so it's a little bit later in the day, the camera is now fully charged and I've got about an hour left to film so let's just jump into the Marvel books. And I'm sure you guys heard in the recent months because it was absolutely everywhere but Marvel has unfortunately not renewed the license for Conan. I'm sure it's a lot more complex than that but I don't think anybody watches Whale Watch so that they can understand the legality of a property. What that does mean though however is that all of these Conan omnibuses are now more at risk than they were originally. So as far as I'm aware that's the Savage Sword, the original Marvel years, King Conan and also some of the cult stuff I imagine would be under the same umbrella. Now some of these were going out of print to begin with so I'm not really too sure why it's done for the stock levels but to me it just means that these are pretty much going to be the last copies that we're going to get across. So I might do this seasonally until it looks like they're completely dried up but in all honesty if you've got some gaps in your Conan collection like I have then it's probably time that you just jump onto these books. Make them your priority. Yes they have jumped up in price yet again which is disappointing but trust me when they go out of print I imagine they're going to jump up in price even more. So the original Marvel Years Volume 1 it looks like this isn't available but you can get it new for 150 quid which isn't that good of a deal. Volume 8 still available for pre-order. Volume 9 is as well. This is one that I thought would have gone out of print by now but it doesn't seem to be the case. Volume 5 only got one left in stock. It says more on the way. I'm not too sure if that's correct. Volume 6 has only got two left in stock. Volume 4 and Volume 2 and also Volume 3 look like they're not available unless you go third party because here we've only got one used for 56 quid. King Conan's already shot up in price which is a bit disappointing. Let's have a see how Savage Sword's doing. Now, I'm a bit confused why Marvel didn't do a reprint of Volume 1. That went massively out of print but Volume 5's still in stock and a pretty decent price if I'm honest. Volume 6 is available. You've also got Volume 7 even though it's showing the wrong cover. Volume 8's available for pre-order and I honestly aren't sure if this is going to finish out this series. But look, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3 and Volume 4 are not available from Amazon. I know a while ago Forbidden Planet was selling some of these off so let's see if you can drop on here. Volume 7 of Savage Sword is in stock at the moment and it looks like the DM variant's on sale. Volume 6 you can get, Volume 7... The, again the DM variant's not doing that well. That is a very good price. I don't know whether to just jump into DM variant for that one volume because I can't really beat that. Original Marvel Years is on sale as well. You can pre-order some volumes. Volume 5's on sale. Same price whether you go DM or not. I kind of need that volume. I'm adding that to basket. But yeah these Conan books I do not know what's going to happen with them. I believe Titan Books has got the license now. Again don't quote me on that. But obviously it's not going to be identical to the Marvel omnibuses so you might be a bit disappointed if you miss out on some of these. They've got Volume 6, Volume 7, they've got some Volume 5, but again, if you look, some of these are drying up as well. So the bottom line is that if you're missing any of these Conan omnibuses, they need to be top of your to-buy list. I do not know how much longer these have got on the shelves. I also don't know what the upcoming to-be-released volumes are going to be like in a print run. I don't know if they're going to be able to do a lot of them or only a few of them. And when it's a Volume 10 of something, I don't know how much confidence Marvel has got that that's going to sell as well as something like a Volume 1, 2, 3, or 4. So if those earlier volumes are going out to print, don't be surprised if a Volume 10 might go out of print a bit quicker. But one that Stephen wanted me to put on the list is bringing back the Chi Check. This is a section of the show where we check on a boy Shang Chi. And it's been a while so it took me three attempts to say that properly. Now no clue what's happening with these. It does look like they got some restocks of some of the volumes. But at the same time, I'm not seeing a lot of volume 4 at the minute. And that was one that was very readily available. Yep, yeah, currently unavailable. So it looks like these are finally drying off. You can get volumes 2 and volumes 3 from Organic Price Books. Nothing over here at Forbidden Planet. I think these might have even had a stray volume 1. So let's see if they've still got it months later. I doubt it, but let's see. Okay, so they've got volume 3 and volume 2 available. But again, it looks like volumes 1 and 4 are just not there to buy. Cheap Comics had them on sale. 
sale for a while, but again, I don't know if that's going to be the same case now. Okay, so you can get volume 4, but it's over cover price. They've also got some of the DM variants, but the only ones that are under cover price, again, are volumes 2 and volume 3, so it might be the case that these are on the last legs. I can almost guarantee that Deadly Hands of Kung Fu is going to be in a similar way. So volume 2 is at full cover price, not sure if that's Amazon that's selling it down. No, it's on behalf of A Place in Space. All of them are pretty much at cover price as well. If you wanted these Shang-Chi omnibuses though, you've had more than enough time, and even Deadly Hands of Kung Fu has been in print for nearly 6 years now. So yeah, it might be the case that they can only print them once. I don't know if they've renewed that license, again, I don't really keep up with the legality of all of this. If I did, this would probably be a much more informative show. Just going to touch in with the Cosmic Ghost Rider omnibus as well. I believe that this is one that I would have mentioned during the last live stream, but this is a recently printed book that doesn't look like it's got long left. So look here, it's been out for over a year, which for omnibuses nowadays is pretty decent. Only 9% off and only one left in stock with Amazon, and they are the only place that's selling it new. Both covers are sold out over at Organic Price Books, and I know that these were selling it off at one point, so let's just see. No, nope, seems like they must have all sold out. Read comics are normally quite good, and they've got both covers, so if you are looking for this, that is the best price that I've seen in a while. Let's have a see if these are listing it as out of print, which wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Yep, they are saying that both are out of print, and they're just over cover price at the minute. You know, so if you did want either of these covers, it looks like Read Comics is your best bet. If you do buy it from them, in the notes that you can leave, let them know that the Mad Dog sent you, because they helped me out, so I'd like to return the favour. A book that looks like it's already gone out of print, but I would not worry in the slightest, is the Thor Omnibus by Jason Aaron. Now, as you can see here, Amazon isn't even selling it at the minute. You've got Book Depository that are saying that they're getting it later this month. You can still get the main cover over here from Organic Price Books. You can get the Jane Foster DM variant, but it's Purple Button of Doom if you wanted the Joker Sarda one. And they were only listing a damaged one over here at Read Comics. But for me, as much as an accidental FOMOist as I might be, I would not panic in the slightest about this. As you can see, it's a volume one, and this was one of the most requested omnibuses that Marvel's probably ever had. It sold out so quick because of the demand, it's not like it was limping its way into being in sale territory, and then all of a sudden it just went out of print. There was about a month, and then nobody was able to get this. But if we don't see a volume two, you just know that Marvel's leaving money on the table. There were three covers released for this because they know how popular it was. Even the Immortal Hulk doesn't look like it's getting three covers. So it's pretty much guaranteed that there's going to be a volume two, and when that does happen, I can almost guarantee that there's going to be a restock of volume one. Marvel is listening to the fans, and if you look at some of the other books that they restocked, why would you not restock this one? So please do not pay scalper prices for it. It might be a couple of months, but let's be honest, we've all got a massive to read pile. And if you're like me, you're waiting for that volume two so that you can crack both of these open. If you're that desperate to read this run, subscribe to Marvel Unlimited for a month or two, and just wait it out, but do not pay over cover price for this. I just get the feeling that Marvel knows what they're doing. But I've been wrong before, and I might be wrong now. One rule that I've had, though, with all these books that are coming out is that the reprints need to take priority. And a big example of that is going to be the Fantastic Four Omnibuses by Jonathan Hickman. Now, there's Volume 2. You know, it's got a decent enough price. Books, etc. still going, which is a pretty decent sign. But Volume 1 looks like it's already gone back out of print. You try to click on it, and it normally takes you to the 2013 edition, which is never really a good sign, and it came out about six months ago. These were massively requested reprints, and I think in a similar way, I would also put the Avengers by Jonathan Hickman reprints in this category. Organic Price Books has Volume 2 available, but they're sold out of Volume 1, both the main cover and also the DM variants. You don't want to miss out on this book again. I know how difficult it was for people to get them whilst they were out of print. The Empire Omnibus is on sale as well if you want to pick it up. You can get Volume 2 from Forbidden Planet, but I'm not seeing any Volume 1s. There's one book though that I can pretty much guarantee is going to be on sale at some point. No idea what Marvel's doing with those. Oh, just let me read a bunch of issues out of order because they happen to come out in the same month as Spider-Man. Yeah, and I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot there, but I'll say what I think. Read Comics has shown me Volume 2. They've got a purple button of doom for the DM variant of Volume 1, and the regular cover is just saying out of stock. So, like I said, the rule has always been make sure that your reprints are at the top of your list. I'm not going to go through every single reprint in this video. If there's one that you knew you wanted and you've maybe put it on the back burner a bit, look out for that one. Whilst we're talking about the Fantastic Four, I am going to have a look at some of these Silver Age omnibuses as well. Volume 4, which was a new release, is still quite healthily available. Volume 3 is crept up in price. Volume 1, even though it says it came out in August this year, already looks like it's not available. And it redirects you to the 2005 printing. And Volume 2 also looks like it's not available. I'm not sure if they just haven't got this restock in. I can't remember the date that it was due to come out. If they say in August, that was only a month ago. But yeah, Organic Price Books is sold out of Volume 1, Volume 4, the DM variant at least. They've got the regular cover, both covers for Volume 2. They have got the DM variant for Volume 1. And they've got some Volume 3s of the main cover in. Forbidden Planet only looks like it's got Volume 4 in at the minute. But Read Comics does 
have the DM and the regular cover of Volume 4. They've also got all covers for Volume 3 and they've got the DM variant for Volume 2. It's Purple Button and Doom for Volume 1 over here, but they've also got the other cover for Volume 2. So it looks like Read Comics might be your best bet if you did want any of these Silver Age Fantastic Four omnibuses. I don't know what the spine situation is going to be. That's a headache that I really don't want to get into. But if you're missing some gaps in this collection, maybe you got Volume 1 when it had a reprint a couple of years ago. You picked up Volume 4 when it was first released. And now you might be missing a Volume 2 or a Volume 3. I'd be jumping on these because it does look like they're disappearing. Now, one book that I've seen quite a lot in the Instagram feed is the Fantastic Four Full Circle Edition. It's got a beautiful slipcase, which, yep, is really tempting. But I believe this was limited to only about 3,000 edition. Yep, 3,000 copies. And in all honesty, with stuff like limited editions, if you don't pre-order them, you're probably just going to miss out. Yeah, the print one's bigger than something like you saw you Jimbo, but we saw how quickly they went out of print again, so in all honesty, it might be a bit difficult to find this one. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to try, but, you know, no promises. No, the slipcase edition is out of stock there, and also the regular edition. You can get the regular hardcover available for pre-order, but it doesn't look like I'm finding this slipcase edition in many places. I actually, tell a lie, I haven't found it anywhere. Cheap Comics is just saying that they haven't got it, so yeah, if you wanted that limited edition, unfortunately, it looks like you're going to be paying aftermarket prices. You might drop on and find it somewhere on a website, or maybe somebody on eBay doesn't really know what they've got yet, but it looks like at the minute we're just going to have to perv on people's copies on Instagram, because it's a bit difficult to get this one. Another family of titles that I want to talk about is the She-Hulk omnibuses, and yeah, I know that the Dan Slot omnibus is getting a reprint in October, but admittedly, it doesn't seem like there's that much buzz about the Disney Plus show in comparison to some of the other ones. I haven't caught up on it yet, I'm waiting for Daredevil to appear, because in all honesty, that's the main thing that's going to get me invested, and I get the feeling he's going to be in it for about 10 minutes in the last episode, and I'm going to be really disappointed. But some of these other volumes, I don't really know how long they're going to be around. In particular, I'm looking at this Peter David volume. Now, I like what I've read of this run, but already it looks like Amazon isn't the main place it's selling it. Yeah, I've got Book Depository that's there, and Amazon does have it for, you know, only a quid more than the person that they're advertising. That's pretty much the equivalent of an Apple shop trying to sell Samsungs. But I get the feeling this is going to be one that disappears. It's quite thin, it has got a cheaper cover price, but not to the value that I think that you get of the page count. That sentence made any sense at all. So I think this might be one of the ones that disappears. Along with the John Byrne book that I have absolutely no clue what's happening with it. This is yo-yoed in and out of print so many times, but it does look like you can't get it from Amazon at the moment. But this one in particular, and maybe this one, the Savage She-Hulk Omnibus, would be the ones that I'd put on your radar the most. You might get another three to six months out of those, but I can't see Amazon restocking them once the buzz of the show has died down, which in all honesty seems to already be the case. Another one, talking about these reprints that you need to put at the top of your list, is the Captain America by Ed Brubaker Omnibuses. Now, Death of Captain America, this is such a thin book that I don't think people should be paying over cover price for it. There's one place that's got it left in stock, it's been in print for over a year now, god that's gone quick, and it seems like Amazon's been the only new place that's been selling it since about November last year apparently. Also, the main omnibus, it looks like that's already disappeared. Yeah, it's only a place in space that's selling it at the moment. So you can get both covers from Organic Price Books, there's a great discount for the DM variant. They sold out of both the main cover and the DM variant for the first omnibus, and if these two are drying up, I think you should be putting Captain America Lives on your radar as well. Why would they keep Volume 3 in print if they're not keeping the first two? It just doesn't make any sense, and it also looks like the Dan Jurgens omnibus is disappearing as well. But let's have a see if I can find this for you anywhere else, because I know that the Dan Jurgens volume was on sale over at Forbidden Planet. Okay, so they've got a decent enough price on the Death of Captain America book. Yep, it's pretty much half price for the Dan Jurgens omnibus over at Forbidden Planet, and it says that there's not many left. You can also get the first volume, which I think you should be jumping on, but they don't have the DM variant, which is the cover that I went for. So Forbidden Planet looks like it'd be a really good shout if you need to catch up on any Captain America books. They've got both covers of Lives. They've got the DM variant for Death. They've got both covers for Dan Jurgens. They've got the DM variant for Volume 1, which I'd jump on as quickly as possible, but I can't see the standard cover there. These are fantastic books. I was so hyped when these were getting a reprint because I knew that I was going to upgrade my old volume. It's seen better days, let's put it that way. Boy, it looks like they're already disappearing. I've heard that Marvel doesn't really have reprints very high on their agenda anymore, so who knows what's going to happen with that, but I wouldn't really sit around and wait. One that I'm going to be a bit preemptive with is the Savage Avengers Omnibus. And this ties back into the Conan stuff that we were talking about earlier, because look who's front and centre. It's Wolverine, I got that wrong, but Conan's here and he's also there. This is due to come on sale in November, but who knows if it's going to get pushed back again, because it's already done so about three times. But with how quickly they got this book out, even though there is another series 
use that they're continuing with at the moment. And us not really knowing if Marvel can print books that have Conan in them, but maybe not in the title. I do not think you should be waiting around on this book. I'd definitely be getting your pre-orders in because this is a fantastic series. And I'm not going to check in a lot of other places because of the fact that it's available for pre-order at the moment. You have unfortunately missed the final order cutoff check, but I do think that there's going to be places that are stocking this. I've got this pre-ordered as well because I don't really want to risk it. Another one that's in the same bracket is Miracle Man because there were so many legal issues with that title that I still don't actually believe that that's going to get printed. But either way, Savage Avengers is definitely one that should be high on your list and I definitely recommend pre-ordering it. One that I reviewed quite recently and is a character that is no stranger to the Romnibus who's going out of print is the Daredevil by Charles Soule. It's a decent enough run, it doesn't beat Bendis or Frank Miller or anyone like that. But as you can see at the mini, Amazon's only got 14% off and they are the cheapest place at selling this. This place I've never even heard of but it seems like they're charging quite an extortionate price. It's been in print for nearly a year and this was quite popular when it first came out. I believe I picked this up from Organic Price Books, so let's see if they've got either cover. Nope, sold out of both over there. They have got the DM variant over here at Forbidden Planet, but I can't see the other cover. Read comics are normally pretty decent for keeping stock of Daredevil books, let's have a see. They have got the main cover, but they haven't got the DM cover in stock, so that is one that I definitely think you should be picking up sooner rather than later. In all honesty, I think the Mark Wade runs would get a reprint before this one, so if you're not picking this up now and we haven't heard news of a restock, I do think it's going to be quite a few years before Marvel brings this back into print. One thing that I am going to start checking now that they've all had a bit of a restock is the Hulk by Peter David omnibuses. I know that there's going to be a volume 5 that's coming out so they might do a restock around that time but still with there being so many volumes it might be easy for one to slip through the cracks. Volume 4 is in stock, it's been in print since May. Volume 3 is still available, you've also got volume 1 there. Volume 2 says it's coming back in print in January of 2023. Hopefully that's the case, I'm really struggling to keep check of all these reprints and restocks and stuff like that. Yep, Organic Price Books kind of corroborates that with them saying that there's a new printing next year. The DM variant for Volume 3, which is the cover that I went with, isn't available there, nor is a standard cover. It doesn't say that it's going to restock or anything like that. You can't get the DM variant for Volume 1, but you can get both covers for Volume 4. Yeah, everyone's pretty much saying the same thing about Volume 2. I'm not really seeing Volume 1 here at Forbidden Planet, though. People Button are doing for the DM variant of Volume 1. They've got both covers for Volume 4. They've got the main cover for Volume 3, and it looks like they've currently got in stock the DM variant for Volume 2, which is pretty decent. They've got the main cover for Volume 1, so it does look like you can get all of them in some form of another from Reed Comics. But both covers for the Sensational She-Hulk by John Byrne aren't in stock there, which I know I talked about earlier, but I just saw it here, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Another one that I noticed, which is confusing me a little bit because there is going to be subsequent volumes, is the Thunderbolts Volume 1. As you can see here, it isn't available from Amazon, even though there is going to be a third volume coming out in February of 2023, which I am very excited for. Yeah, there's only one used and it's massively over cover price. No news on a restock, but you can still get the DM variant for Volume 1, which is the cover that I've got. Yep, they've got both covers for Volume 2, but again, Volume 1's just completely out of stock. Like I said all throughout this video, you might be able to find this somewhere else. There might be later news of a restock coming out, but this has dried up really quickly. They're saying it's out of print over here on Cheap Comics, and I am led to believe them, but that's one that I noticed, and I think people will be disappointed if it doesn't come back in stock, but you might be able to find it somewhere else. Another series that I'm not sure what's going to happen now that there's been a Volume 5 that's been announced is the Uncanny X-Men Omnibuses. Over the years, these have gone in and out of print, and again, it looks like Volume 1 isn't available. Volume 3 looks like it's out of stock as well. Damn, yeah, that's massively over cover price, and it looks like somebody's selling it used more than they are for new. Who knew that a 300 quid new X-Men Omnibus would look like a bargain? Volume 2 looks like it's not available here either. Jesus Christ, that's a steep price. But I don't really know what's going to happen with that Volume 5. It would make sense to print them all again, especially since there's been the issues with the spines. You can't get Volume 1 from Organic Price Books, nor can you Volume 2 or Volume 3. Not seeing a lot over here on Forbidden Planet. Not seeing any of them, if I'm being honest. It's not the first thing that appears over on Read Comics, which is a bit worrying. You can get the DM in standard cover for Volume 4. Even the Jim Lee books look like they've got the Purple Button of Doom there. Volume 2 is just saying out of stock. Purple Button of Doom for Volume 1 DM variant. And Volume 3 looks like it's out of stock as well. So I don't know if this is going to be one of those that's worth waiting around to see if there's going to be a restock with Volume 5. That would make sense to me, but just because something makes sense doesn't mean that it's going to happen. But I know some people have had difficulties getting these. There's also been that many printings that I don't know how many people are left that don't have these. But if you had any gaps in your collection, maybe get a jump on those. Another one that I saw that I do want to mention is the Age of Apocalypse Omnibus. Again, it's a reprint, and as you can see here, you can get both covers from Read Comics. But I think this was drying up over here at Amazon. Yeah, so it looks like it's disappeared, even though you can get the companion volume. There's only one copy used, there's nothing new there. Both covers are out of stock at Organic Price Books. Nothing over here at Forbidden Planet except 
for the companion volume which is currently on sale so it looks like read comics might be your best bet if you needed this one you can get either cover even though the main one is a little bit cheaper but this is something that's drying up there's not a lot of buzz about it anymore so i don't really know if there'd be that incentive to do another restock so don't wait around it doesn't look like a lot of these x-men books are going to be around much longer the last kind of family of books that i'm going to do a check on is the star wars omnibuses now this is one that you should have bought if you haven't done so already because it's just that great there's only six left in stock they say that there's more on the way books etc still go book depositories go this is one that i do hope is available for a while and if i was marvel i'd be keeping this in stock because star wars is one of those things that people will just buy the empire omnibus for a little bit of time looked like it was disappearing but i'm not sure if more have come across yeah that might be the case because books etc still go it this is one that i panic bought mainly because i saw what was happening with like the old republic and stuff like that the jason aaron volume looks like it's healthily available i recently did a review of war of the bounty hunters so please check that out there's some that are available for pre-order it looks like the charles soul volume's not available jesus christ when did that jump that high yeah this is probably why i should have kept doing whale watch monthly yeah so it hasn't been in stock since about june but this is just my point you need to get these star wars books as soon as you can because this is how out of print they go in such a short space of time this only got printed at the beginning of the year but the reason why i wanted to do this is because dr afra is getting a reprint in january of next year well, it's not gonna be january this year is it marcus so i know that was one that went out of print and a lot of people were having difficulties buying it make sure you get your pre-orders in if you missed out on that because we've seen how just dried up everything else has gone i don't think that these star wars books that are out of print are going to be out of print forever so i'd never recommend paying over cover price we saw what the darth vader by kieran gillen volume was going for before that reprint and you don't want to be the person that pays out for the charles soul book and then he gets a reprint as well i think star wars is always going to be the exception to any kind of rule that exists at marvel but i'm not seeing a lot of rise of the sith over on amazon either you can get the beautiful dm variant but admittedly it's a little bit cropped as well when you actually get and you can also get the main cover from organic price books they haven't got the soul volume either they have currently got all three covers for the jason aaron reprint empire is still available i'm not seeing the kieran gillen book here either oh, okay both covers are there so make sure you jump on that i absolutely love that title and you can pre-order both covers for the dr afra reprint and let's be honest i think this is a better cover i think forbidden planet was selling some off at one point yeah so you can get rise reduced that's the cover i've had to go with they've got all three covers of the jason aaron volume they've got empire they've also got the dm cover for rise but i'm not seeing the Darth Vader books here either. Maybe it's time to jump on the Kieran Gillen book if you can get it from Organic Price Books. They've got both covers for Kieran Gillen over here at Reed Comics. They haven't got either cover for the Soul volume, but it looks like everything else is kind of healthily in print. But Star Wars is stuff that does tend to dry out and go out of print and go for stupid prices really quickly. So if there were any of those that you wanted, I'd recommend putting them top of your list. I also think War of the Bounty Hunters won't have much of a shelf life if I'm being honest. But it's all speculation with me and that was the point in Whale Watch to begin with. So just to end this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update why it's going to be seasonal from now why it isn't live anymore and what i have planned for the future admittedly whale watch is a massive task for me to do i also felt like it was causing me more issues in the sense that i was buying more books and spending more money than i'd ever make from this video i don't have a lot of money at the minute so i can't afford to do this monthly and panic by myself and also i never intend for whale watch to drive up any kind of fear of missing out but i know that that's obviously going to be a byproduct of it i don't want that to be the case i don't want people spending money on books that they didn't really want to begin with just because they were scared of it going out to print i'm also getting much better at that now myself of just going do i actually want to buy this book or do i need it to my collection but i also never really want to forget where i came from with this channel i've been on youtube for nearly two years now and whale watch was there from the beginning i know that there are some people it's probably a very small minority that do absolutely love this series and have been asking for it to come back i tried doing the live show but with just how noisy my estate is that wasn't really possible for the times when it'd be most convenient for everyone so for the moment i'm just committing to a seasonal whale watch and in all honesty the landscape of omnibuses have changed stuff is getting restocked quite often so doing a monthly video was actually quite counterintuitive because the next month it might be coming back in and the thing that i said earlier just didn't mean nothing and a lot of whale watch would then just be me going back over what i said doing it seasonal is making me become more sharp and focused with it i can't afford to just repeat books because i'm not going to be doing it for another three months so hopefully the overall quality of this series is going to improve as well but i've got some good news i do want to try and branch into doing tiktok and i think whale watch might be the best way of going about that so i have set up an account it's just mad dog comics i'm not really great at it at the moment i really struggle at committing to make like a 30 second video but with whale watch i can just turn on my phone and go hey i think this book is going out of print maybe check it out so make sure you follow me on there i'm not sure how active i'm going to be on it but i'm going to try my best the youtube's always going to be the priority i don't want to be looking in so many different directions that i don't focus on any of them and that's also another benefit of me doing whale watch seasonally it does mean that i don't have to take an entire week every month to just focus on this one video i can focus my energies on different things whilst not dropping this series altogether. So hopefully this 
this as a positive move for the channel overall and like I said I want this to be a community driven thing so every couple of weeks or so I'm going to put something on my Instagram asking you guys to tell me what you think of going out of print or what's a good deal or what's something that has already gone out of print and still available. As you can tell I'm very tired at the minute I haven't really been able to speak clearly in this video but I wanted to come back with Whale Watch it was the thing that made this channel to begin with and I never really want to forget that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and thanks for sticking around if you're still here whilst I'm just rambling on but I'm going to leave this video here for now so until next time just make sure that you stay safe and stay mad all you dogs with Wolf. See the next video.